I'm going to do a quick update uh, on the Hasegawa 172 Sea Harrier FRS Mark I. And um, <clears throat> so far, I'm really enjoying the kit. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, modeling has kind of been slow lately, as, uh, as you guys, most of you guys know, of course, work sometimes uh, rudely interrupts your modeling time. So, but being a high school administrator, we got a lot of night things going on and basketball tournaments and this and that. So I've been having to spend a lot of time at school in the evenings and uh, uh, weekends have been kind of rough too. But let me show you what I've done so far. And uh, as you can see, I've got it all assembled. Um, the main part, uh, it went together really well. I didn't have, um, there really wasn't a lot of filling to do, just a few few little spots here and there uh, where basically where I cut it off the sprue, um, my, my nippers are getting worn out and it tends to pull, so uh, those places where it left like a little nub, <laughs> I had to put a little filler in. Um, also just some perfect plastic putty right along the swing root. Uh, did the trick um, and just some light sanding on the seams but everything everything really fit well um, I added the uh, the Aiden gun pods um, and I used my pen vise to put some uh, muzzle holes in it to give it a little bit more life um, it was just all solid pieces and made a little bit of holes right here in the in the front of where the guns are um, if you can see maybe see down inside uh, the <clears throat> jet intakes I don't know if you can see that or not it's kind of you know, not much light but um, pilots all in place the uh, <clears throat> his name is Harry Harry the Harrier pilot call sign tiny ass <laughs> so because he's tiny uh, but I, again, it's been a lot of fun. I really, you know, obviously it's not a super detailed kit, but it's has been very enjoyable. Um, I'm ready to basically mask the canopy put on um, and put those on so I can start getting some primer down and uh, kind of just getting everything prepped for, for painting. Um, landing gear, I sprayed, uh, I painted these with um let me find it uh some model master light ghost gray uh because these were on the sea harriers these uh had a little blue tint uh to them and i do need to do some uh, detail painting on these uh <clears throat> as well some parts of these were white and of course paint the tires okay um there's uh looks like the middle landing gear as well right there All right. Also got the um, the, the so-called hot jet nozzles, the air nozzles, painted, uh, and I like the way it turned out. And the first time I have used this, this is uh, it's MIG metal, and this is jet exhaust burn iron. And uh, I was really impressed with this. It really sprayed nice. Um, I may have got along a little too heavy, uh, but that's okay because I'm going to do some dry brushing and uh, with some uh, maybe metallic gray or silver just to show a little bit more wear and uh, obviously these things were not uniform in color so got the, those jet nozzles um, and the also the deflector panels uh, painted up in burn iron jet exhaust and I got this when I ordered the kit because I was gonna order the Vallejo metal and you know they're eight nine dollars a bottle and i thought well and this was you know three something price of a normal paint and i thought well, let me give this a try it's it's acrylic it's metal color and um so far i really i really liked it this again it sprayed very nice and uh, so that's going to be my jet exhaust color that i'm going to keep keep using um and i again i'm just getting things ready the uh, drop tanks um, or fuel tanks are they're just ready to be primed. I've sanded them down and, and looked at them. Um, <clears throat> the uh, 
the side winders, there was a couple little pin marks in each one. I sanded those smooth, and again, now so these are now ready for painting. And so I'm gonna get to those hopefully pretty quick. And so that's where I'm at. Um, I won't have a lot of modeling time this weekend. Uh, I've got a lot of things going on, and uh, hopefully my nights won't be so busy next next week. Um, I did want to ask you guys a question. Uh, those of you who are Harrier experts, or if you have a, a book, uh, I've been looking at a lot of pictures online, and it's hard to tell. I know this part, this front part of the, um, the panel is black, of course, for, you know, uh, um, anti-glare. But I wasn't sure about back here, uh, behind the behind the cockpit. I went ahead and painted over it black, and I don't know if it's the color of the regular fuselage or if it's black or if it doesn't matter. If it matters, I don't know. Um, but I was what I was going to do is put the uh, canopies and once I mask them, put them on in place and glue them in place, and then I can just paint it. But if this is the if the, and the instructions aren't clear on what color this part is, so basically, if this is the fuselage color, then I will. Um, I will just, you know, put the front part, put the front uh, windscreen on, and then mask all this area off real good, and then and then just paint this part with the rest of the air, aircraft. I also had a question, too, because every time I look on pictures, it's either shadowed or it's hard to tell when I look online. Um, I don't have a booklet on the Sea Harrier. Um, this part right in here on this side, is this the, is this the fuselage color um, on the, the inside of the intake area or is this is this white right here because you can see it's you know inside um you know painted it white on the outside of the intake area uh but it is the side here is that just the fuselage color um, i'm guessing that it is and from what i can tell uh that's probably what it is um i can't really get a good view down there let me see if i could turn the little light on I always leave off all landing gear. I leave off the pilot, the uh, the hard points. I, I put those on the very end because I want to put the decals on. There's a lot of decals underneath, and uh, so I will get all the you know hard points painted, mount the missiles to them, and then glue them on at the very end. So uh, that's what works for me. I always install the landing gear. Uh, once I've painted them, uh, once the aircraft is painted, I always put the landing gear on the very end. Um, refueling probe, I, there's a pitot tube coming out of here. So I save all that stuff for very the very last. I paint it off, uh, off the model and um, put those on the very end because I'm, you know, I just prone to breaking things. And plus I do the landing gear. I paint those separate because um, they are uh, different different colors. So. Um, but otherwise, um, I'm going to start uh, just moving along with it and, and uh, hopefully, you know, get to do a little bit of painting maybe this weekend, if not first and next week. Uh, but otherwise, guys, thanks for thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any suggestions about, um, you know, the whether this is black or again if it doesn't matter i mean the paint i'm going to use is you know what it calls for is i'm um, using um it's uh where are we at um well it's <clears throat> it's uk extra dark sea gray and that's what these uh sea harriers are painted in on the top and um you know it's a it's a british standard color so it's going to be pretty dark, so I don't know if, honestly, if I can just leave that black. So I'm just asking for your opinions, guys, what you think. And also, is this part right here, should that be should that be white, or is that just the fuselage color? Um, and so yeah, let me know uh, in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, join me again next time, and uh, we will hopefully be doing some painting. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.